Hello, today we are going to learn how to construct a five-pointed star given one of its sides, D, which we are going to see it corresponds with the diagonal of a regular five-sided pentagon. Curiously, this ratio between the length of the side of the star D and the length of the side of the pentagon L5 is exactly the golden proportion, also known as the golden number, or by the Greek symbol phi. So we are going to start by constructing the regular pentagon and then we will draw five pointed star inside it. So the first step is to draw a horizontal line at the bottom of the screen and we will mark on the left side a point A, which will be the first vertex of the five pointed star that we want to draw. So now setting your compass to the length of the given line segment D, we are going to transport this onto the horizontal line from point A, getting a second point, P. So now we are going to draw a perpendicular vertical line from point P. The next step is setting our compass on point P and with a length PA, we are going to scribe an arc to the right until it cuts our previously drawn vertical line at a new point, which we will call Q. So the next step, we need to calculate the perpendicular bisector of the line segment PQ. To do this, with our compass set on point P and a radius slightly greater than half the length PQ, we scribe an arc to the left and to the right of the line as shown here. And now with the same radius and the compass centered on point Q, we scribe another arc which intersects our previously drawn arc at two points. And now we will join these two points and where it cuts the line segment PQ, this will be the midpoint M. So the next step, setting our compass on the midpoint M and with a radius MP, we are going to draw a circle as shown here. To continue, we are going to join point A with M. Where this line segment cuts the circle, we will call point R and line segment AR is going to be the length of the side of the regular pentagon where the five pointed star is going to be scribed in. So now setting our compass to the length AR and centered on A, we are going to transport this length onto the horizontal line, getting a new vertex B of the star that we want to draw. So now with the same radius, we are going to elongate the same arc to the left as shown here. So now with the same radius but centered on point B, we are going to scribe an arc to the right, as can be seen here. The next step is to draw two larger arcs from the same points with a radius equal to the given side D, which is also equal to the length of the line segment AP. So setting the compass on point A, we scribe an arc to the left, cutting our previously drawn arc at a new vertex. And now with the same radius and setting the compass on point B, we scribe another arc to the left, obtaining our last two vertices, which we temporarily highlight here in red. We will call the remaining three new vertices C, D and E. So now that we have all the vertices, the final step is to join them using a thicker line. The secret to drawing this star is to skip every second vertex. So A to C, skipping vertex B, and then from C to E, skipping vertex D, and then from E to B, skipping vertex A, and from B to D, skipping vertex C, and finally from D to A, skipping vertex E. So here you have a five pointed star given its side D. I hope this video has helped you. Please press like or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you and until the next video.